All right, here is another book. Welcome back to the whole bucket. I'll show you what this is um, all about. This is a junk journal or a treasure book. I'm not sure what name you call them by. Um, they come by many names apparently, but this is a handmade journal. This is a two signature journal, so it is eight and a half by five and a half by one inch. Um, this is mostly greens and purples. It comes in a green organza bag and has an extra purple ribbon with it because I feel like I made this tie on it, this ribbon tie, too small. So just in case you fill this journal up and it gets fat and needs more um, ribbon, I sent an extra ribbon with it. Getting to the inside of this one, oh, looks like we have a bee theme. I haven't seen this one in quite a while. So we've got a little envelope fold out here. I don't know if you've seen these before. You may have. This is how they work. Just got a little tuck in right here. Um, and it goes into this corner tuck spot. And the tuck spot is also a flip up. I won't show all the goodies that are involved in this book. But I will show off quite a few. So you can get a feel for what this is all about. And we've got a acetate page and a vellum page, um, tea dyed papers, graph paper in case you want to doodle a bit in your journal. Oh, this is a watercolor page. Um, feel free to use it for painting or multimedia or actually gluing anything too if you have memorabilia you'd like to go in your journal. We've got some stamping and coloring. More journal spaces. Here is a bag of goodies that goes with this journal. I won't go, I won't pull those out. Those can be a bit of a surprise to the owner of the book. Here's a little bit of a collage page that is the center of the signature. Oh, pretty. Look at that. I like that one. All right, some more dyed. There's the other half of that um, watercolor paper. Some nice torn edging here. So uh, these are all hand dyed and hand torn. Um, so a lot has gone into making this book. There is um, other side of that acetate page and then it opens this section up so this is the beginning of signature number two there is a fun journaling spot the journaling page and this is just a plain clip that's holding it shut but underneath that is another pocket another journaling card and let me get that clip back on quick there we go Big journaling spot here, another vellum, a coloring page, pocket back there, storing any little bits you decide to keep, any little memorabilia, a certificate page, some more tea dyes, some more um, stamping and watercoloring. There's a little pocket. So that's a photo pocket. Of course, you can keep photos in it because it's a photo pocket, but seriously, store anything you'd like in it. Here is a large journaling card or mat card. Oh, and that folds out. Oh, and this is the pocket. Oh, I don't remember how that worked, but that's pretty cool. Oh, there is the other side of that photo pocket. So four photos can go in there of um, the 4x7 size, or 4x6 size, sorry. Tea dyed and stamping of more bees. Another pocket, the coloring page, and another pocket. Is, this, is that a pocket too? It is. That's a pocket too. So there are pockets that are full of stuff and there are pockets still empty waiting for you to store goodies in. I will tie this book shut. 
This book, like all of my books, come in their own organza bag. This one is a very lime green or yellow green um, color. I hope that that color is coming through very nicely. And that is a, again, it's a two signature, so it's, um, let me think, 64 pages? No, that's not enough. 72 pages, sorry. 72 pages. That's it for that one. See you, see you next time.